Good day everyone, it's Angeline and in this video, I'm going to discuss a lesson about measurements. But before we begin, let us first define what is measurements. Measurements is the act of determining size, capacity, or quantity. It is a set of quantitative or numerical data that describes an object's or event's property. An amount is measured by comparing it to a standard unit. It is important to be both accurate and precise while conducting scientific measurements. The accuracy of a measurement shows how close it is to its true value. This is significant because faulty equipment, inefficient data processing, or human error can all result in incorrect findings that are not very close to reality. The precision of a set of measurements of this same object is how near they are to one another. Imprecise measurements cannot appropriately identify random mistakes and can provide a broad outcome. There are three types of measurement. The metric system, the international system, and the English system. Metric system is defined as international decimal system of weights and measures, based on the meter for length and the kilogram for mass that was adopted in France in 1795 and is now used officially in almost all countries. The international system of units or SI is commonly known as the modern form of the metric system. It is the international standard for measurement. It is also commonly used in scientific and technological research and development. And lastly, the English system. The measurement system used in many countries, including the United States. The units include feet, pounds, and seconds. For this video, we are going to measure the quantity of mass, volume, density, temperature, and concentration. Now let's start with our first quantity. Mass is defined as a measure of the amount of matter in substance or an object. For the measurement of mass, we have gram for metric unit, kilogram for SI unit, and slug for English unit. For the conversion factors of mass, we have 1 kilogram equals to 1000 grams. We have 1 kilogram equals to 2.2046 pounds, and we have 1 pounds equals to 453.6 grams, and so on and so forth. For the conversion of mass, we will convert 12 newton to grams, kilograms, and to slug. For our first example, we will convert 12 newton to grams. The first step that we need to do is to find units that matches the unit that we are looking for. In this example, we will use newton to pounds and then to grams. In conversion, we should always base on our conversion factors. To cancel the unit of newton, we will multiply 12 newton to 1 pound over 4.45 newton. And to cancel the unit of pound, we will multiply it again to 453.6 grams over 1 pound. We already have the unit that we need, so to get the final answer, we will multiply 12 to 1 and then to 453.6 grams over 4.45 multiplied to 1 pound. We will get 1,223.2 grams. Therefore, in 12 newton, there is 1,223.2 grams. The second example is the same as the first one. To cancel the unit of newton, we will multiply 12 to 1 pounds over 4.45 newton. And since we are looking for kilograms, we will multiply it to 1 kilogram over 2.206 pounds to also cancel the unit of pounds. Now, we will divide the product of 12 multiplied by 1 and 4.45 multiplied by 2.206 to get the final answer of 1.22 kilograms. Therefore, in 12 newtons, there is 1.22 kilograms. The last example is also similar to the first two examples. We'll cancel the unit of newton by multiplying 12 to 1 pound over 4.45 newtons. And to cancel the pound and get the unit of slug, we will multiply it to 0 0.0311 slug over 1 pound. Now multiply the 12 to 1 and 0 
to get the answer of 0 0.3732 slug and 4.45 multiplied by 1 is still 4.45. Divide the 0 0.3732 slug to 4.45 and we will get the final answer of 0 0.08 slug. Our next quantity is volume. It is the amount of space occupied by matter. It is measured in irregular and irregular solids. For the measurement of volume, we have liter in metric unit, cubic meter in SI unit, and gallon for English unit. For the conversion factors of volume, we have 1 liter equals to 1000 milliliters, 1 liter equals to 1.0567 quarts, 1 gallon equals 4 quarts, and so on and so forth. For the conversion of volume, we will convert 5,670 milliliters to liters, to cubic meters, and to gallon. Our first example here is to convert 5,670 milliliters to liters. What we need to do is to multiply 5,670 milliliters to 1 liter over 1,000 milliliter. This is based on the conversion factor that 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliter. This will cancel the unit of milliliter and will be able to get the unit of liter. Just multiply the 5,670 to 1 and divide the answer to 1,000. We will get the answer of 5.67 liter. So, 5,670 milliliters is equals to 5.67 liters. For the next example, we will convert 5,670 milliliters to cubic meter. We will just follow the step on the first example, but this time, we will multiply it to 1 cubic meter over 1,000 liter to cancel the unit of liter and get the, the unit of cubic meter. The answer will be 0 0.00567 cubic meter. Now for the last and third example, we will convert 5,670 milliliters to gallon. This also follows the step in first and second example, but instead, we will multiply it to 1 gallon over 3.785 liters. Based on the conversion factor, that 1 gallon is equal to 3.785 liter. This will cancel the unit of liter and we will get the unit of gallon. Just divide the 5,670 to the product of 1,000 multiplied by 3.785, and we will get 1.50 gallon. Our next quantity is density. It is the mass of a substance occupying a unit volume. Density is inversely proportional to mass and volume. For the measurement of density, we have grams per cubic centimeter for metric unit, kilograms per cubic meter for SI unit, and slug per cubic foot in English unit. We have to convert 11.29 grams per cubic centimeter to kilogram per cubic meter. To do this, we have cancelled the unit of grams in cubic centimeter and get the unit of kilogram and cubic meter. So we'll just multiply 11.29 grams per cubic centimeter to 1 kilogram over 1000 grams and 1 million cubic centimeter over 1 cubic meter. This will give us the answer of 11,290 kilogram per cubic meter. Next example is to convert 11.29 kilograms to cubic meter to slug per cubic foot. We will simply multiply 11.29 kilogram per cubic meter to one slug over 14.5939 kilogram and 0 0.02832 cubic meter over one cubic foot based on the conversion factor. And to cancel the unit of kilogram and cubic meter and get the unit of slug in cubic foot, we will multiply 11.29 to 0 0.02832 and divide to 14.5939 to get the answer of 0 0.0219 slug per cubic foot. Next we have temperature. It is the degree of hotness or coldness of a substance. It is the property of matter that determines the direction of heat flow. 
For the measurement of temperature, we have Celsius per metric unit, Kelvin for SI unit, and Fahrenheit for English unit. In this example, we will convert 29 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. Since we are looking for degrees Fahrenheit, the formula for this is degrees Fahrenheit equals 9 over 5 multiplied to degrees Celsius plus 32. First, multiply 9 over 5 to 29 degrees Celsius then add 32 to get 84.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Next is to convert 43 degrees Fahrenheit to Kelvin. We'll just use the formula of Kelvin equals 5 over 9 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 plus 273.15. First, subtract 32 from 43, then multiply to 5 over 9. Add the answer to 273.15, and we get the answer of 279.26 Kelvin. Therefore, 43 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 279.26 Kelvin. Lastly, we have concentration. It is the quantity of solute present in a given quantity of a solution. It is measured by molarity, mass percent, volume percent, ppm or parts per million, ppb, and mole fraction. For the measurement of concentration, we have grams per liter for metric unit, moles per liter for SI unit, and pounds per cubic foot for English unit. Convert 360 ppm to grams per liter. To do this, first we need to look for the value of ppm to grams per liter. In this example, 1 ppm is equal to 1 million grams per liter, or in scientific notation, it's 1 times 10 raised to the 6 grams per liter. Cancel the unit of ppm, then multiply 360 to 1 times 10 raised to the 6, so we can get 360 million grams per liter, or in scientific notation, this can be 3.60 times 10 raised to the 9 grams per liter. For the next example, we have 290 ppm to moles per liter. From the conversion factor, 1 moles per liter is equal to 35,500 ppm. Cancel the unit of ppm, then multiply 290 to 1, then divide to 35,500. The answer will be 8.17 times 10 raised to the negative 3 moles per liter. And our last example is to convert 180 ppb to lab per cubic foot. The solution is to multiply 180 to 1 pound per cubic foot over 16,018,463.37 ppb. The unit of ppb will be cancelled, so we get the unit of pound per cubic foot. Multiply 180 to 1, then divide to 16,018,463.37 to get the answer of 1.12 times 10 raised to the negative 5 pound per cubic foot. that will be all for this lesson. I hope you learned something. Keep safe everyone. Thank you.